Welcome back. Uh, in this video, we'll be adding some sound effects and uh, music to our game. Uh, so, what we're going to do first is at the top level here, we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call that sounds. And into that folder, we're going to uh, drag in our sound effects. And once again, we're using the uh, excellent sound effects from uh, Kenny's game assets um, and from his um, asset pack. Uh, so in our audio, we are going to uh, use a couple of different sound effects um, from digital sounds. We are going to use a phase jump one for our jumping noise. So we can take that one and drag it into our sounds folder. Excellent. Um, and we are also going to use from Jingle Sounds uh, in sax, we are going to use number seven for our uh, death noise or dying noise. And then lastly, for some background music, we are going to use Music Loops ret Retro, and we're going to do Retro Comedy, which is this one. All right, so we'll drag those in. Cool. Um, now, if you click on these here, you'll see all the import settings and that kind of stuff. You can leave that all alone, but um, you can also preview those sounds from within the editor as well. All right. Um, now, normally when you need to add a, uh, a sound effect or a, a, an audio clip to a uh, object, you need to create an audio source. And you can normally just do that by uh, drag and dropping that onto uh, an object. So for instance, if we grab that and we drag it onto there, we create an audio source and off we go. Um, now, Unity, you can add multiple audio sources to the same um, game object, but then the it doesn't really work well in the inspector for drag and dropping things, and you have to resort to scripts to make it easy to manage. So what we're gonna do instead um, is not add um, it over there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, um, a game object with three children game objects or child game objects, and we're going to add these uh, audio sources uh, to each of the of the child objects. So we're going to create ourselves a new empty, and we're going to call this um, sounds, and then we're going to create an empty child, which we're going to call jump sound effects, and we're going to drag our jump onto there and then we are going to add another child and we're going to call this the death sound effect and we're going to drag our death there and then we're going to add one more child which we are going to call background music and we're going to add our retro comedy clip to that. So this allows us to basically um, have one audio clip per child and then it makes it easier to drag and drop these onto uh, scripts and public variables. Um, now, if we press play at the moment, you would have heard all the sound effects all firing off all at the same time. Uh, and the reason is, if we uh, look carefully at these sound effects here, they all have a play on wake um, value. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is, for the jump sound effect, we can turn that off. Uh, for the death sound effect, we can um, also turn that off. And then for the background music, we'll leave it on, uh, but we're also gonna check the loop clip. So that means it will continuously play over and over again. So if we play that now. We'll just 
have the music endlessly looping in the background. Now you may notice those things are a bit loud, um, but we'll come back and um, adjust that a bit later to kind of balance those sound sounds out. All right, so now that we have um, the sound effects for all set up, we actually need to um, key them into when the um, bunny jumps or, or dies. Um, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to go and open up our um, bunny controller. I'll find my bunny controller under scripts, bunny controller. And we'll just wait for Visio Studio uh, to start up. And what we're going to do is on our bunny controller here, we're going to create um, two new uh, public variables um, being audio sources. And then we'll be able to associate those audio sources with um, the jump SFX and our death sound effects. And then we'll be able to wire up uh, the plane of those um, co uh, sound effects at the appropriate point in time. So what we do is we'll scroll back up to our bunny controller here and we can create ourselves um, a public audio source. And uh, we're gonna call this audio source um, jump SX and we'll create another one. Call that death SFX. All right, let's save that. And if we jump back to Unity and we click on our bunny, we will see now that we've got two slots for the jump sound effects and the death sound effects, and we can just drag them into there from our game objects that are holding our audio clips for us, uh, or our audio sources for us. All right, so now once we've got those two associated, uh, what we need to do is if back in the code, we now actually need to uh, play the sound effects. So if we scroll down to the update method and we find this block here where we, we're um, doing uh, handling the jump, assuming the player has um, any jumps left, um, we can just simply inside that if statement right at the end here, we can very easily just go jump is it, if it, sound effects dot play all right um, and if we go back to unity now and we play that we have our jump sound effect when we um, jump in um, for our death sound effect, it's pretty much the same kind of thing, except um, we need to reference our death sound effect. And um, we want to do this in our on collision 2D enter method. And when we collide with our uh, enemies, we're going to do all the stuff we've been doing before, except the very last thing uh, we want to do inside that uh, block is to go death sound effect dot play. Right, so if we jump back to Unity, run that again. We can jump. All right, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, so let's adjust the, those levels because the jump sound effect is quite quiet, the death sound effect is quite loud, and the music's quite loud. So if we look at the jump sound effect, um, it's the quietest of all the sound effects we have. And of course, we could use an audio program to, to um, edit and adjust these levels. Uh, but we can also just do it within Unity by uh, just shifting this volume uh, value here. So this is the quietest one. So what we can do is for the um, death sound effect, uh, we can shift this down to 0 0.35. And for the music, um, it's also quite loud. So we'll shift that to 0 0.5. And if we run that now, things should be a bit quieter and a bit more in proportion. All right.
Awesome. And we're done. Nice, short, and uh, simple. Um, so in the next video, what we'll, we're going to be doing is um, adding our title screen, the start of our title screen, um, adding some menu options to uh, launch the game, and um, we'll take it from there. So as always, please like this video if you liked it, share it with others, and um, remember to subscribe to the channel to receive notifications when I post uh, new videos. Thank you.